Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to do a follow-up on the previous video, which is about this DC2 drone. And it has the two micro dipole antennas on it, as you can see. In my previous video, I did not do a proper range test of the bi-quad antennas here on this DJI goggles with those two micro dipole antennas on the drone. So in this video, I'm going to find an opportunity to do some real-world testing. And by that, I do not mean doing range tests in an open field where there's line of sight. Instead, I'm going to look for places that I would like to fly the drone in to see how practical this setup is going to be. Well, speaking of interesting places to fly the drone in, this is the cycling track which I used to fly my micro drones in 2013 several years ago and I could not get FPV flight beyond 300 meters no matter which setup I use even with the best antenna arrays and 600 mini watts power I could not fly beyond that fast forward to 2020 today we have the DJI HD FPV system and Bike Frost HD system which is also digital here I'm flying in my neighborhood this is the stretch where I do my breeze walking nowadays as it's locked down during the pandemic, I could not go to open places, open parks to fly because it's against the law. So I decided to just show you guys what you can do in my neighborhood. And this stretch of road is perfect because there's hardly anyone. And I'm flying beyond line of sight, passing this left turn. The signal is further blocked by obstacles and I'm still getting a perfectly clear video as you can see. And I'm flying really low, I'm like 1.5 meters above the ground and this is just great. With analog system this is not possible, there will be breakups and you will get a lot of video degradation in terms of quality. But with the HD system from DJI, this is basically a dream come true for most FPV flyers like myself. To enjoy FPV with this type of clarity and detail is just amazing. And here this is another stretch where I do my breeze walking. I thought I'd pull my drone here, show you what it can do. And on the right, you could see metal fans, which actually degrades RF signal. But no problem at all for this setup. As you can see, the video is still very clear. And I could just keep on going. Here, I'm, I'm approaching about 150 meters away. And it's still very clear. And the moment I approach a clearing like here, the video gets even better. And now I'm flying slightly outside of the antenna's beam width, just to test how it performs and how practical this whole setup is. I'm not pointing my four bi-quad antennas precisely at my drone, I'm just pointing it in the general direction and it goes to show that there's no problems at all even if you are not aiming your drone with your antennas. Alright, in this footage, this is the place which I talked about in 2013, which I could not fly beyond 300 meters along this cycling track. So it will be a good test with this setup with the directional bi-quad antennas and the linear dipole antennas on the drone to see what it can do here. So this is really, really uh, low to the ground. I think I'm about 1.5 meters away from the ground and getting really good signal. I'm approaching 150 meters now and still that's very good quality video. This place there's a lot of interference coming from Wi-Fi from the residential houses on the left and it's not really RF friendly because there are a lot of trees on the right. So with trees on both sides and a narrow clearing in between is really bad for RF signal to propagate 
long distance. But with the DJI unit and this bi-quad setup, bi-quad antenna setup, I'm getting pretty good performance here. There's some video degradation. You could see the video getting pixelated at times, but overall, I could still keep on going because it doesn't affect my navigation. I could still make out where I'm heading. If you notice by now, there's a big crowd here on this cycling track. Well, basically because of the lockdown, people could not go to the mall and there's no other places that they could be at besides places like this. So most of the people are here. And this is the point where the DJI reaches its limit. Well, you would have guessed by now that the FPV video on the cycling track isn't real. I had my drone strapped to my head here as you can see. And that's because of the new advisory from CAAS Singapore, which prohibits all outdoor recreational flying on 6 May. In terms of distance, we accomplished 580 meters and that's not line of sight. As I mentioned, this is real world flying. And if you look carefully, there's a bunch of trees which covers a length of more than 50 meters that's blocking the signal. I guess it's hard for any signal to punch through 100 meters of trees. So I'm pretty happy with the results. That's all I have. Thank you for watching.